Alright, hello, my name's Warden, and welcome back to my Oblivion Let's Play. Um, you will notice if you just watched the first episode that we are in a completely different place than we were when the, um, last episode ended, and the reason for this is because, um, what actually ended up happening was something happened with Raps, and I lost a lot of the recording. And so basically what happened was, and I'll give you a short little rundown here, we cleared out this ruin after many a try um i'm sorry you guys didn't get to see that but i'm sure there will be many more ruins wherein we'll get our butts kicked and um after that we actually headed back to anvil and in anvil we heard rumors of a chapel attack now this really interested duvenor because you know he had just come um he had just come back from praying at the chapel or rather uh he left anvil after praying at the chapel of the nine divines there and so he was like well i wonder if this is my answer from the gods and so he has been sent on a journey by a mysterious prophet to pray at the shrines of the nine divines after hearing a prophecy of the return of umaril the unfeathered now um at that point, it was late at night, and uh, we were actually able to talk to Gogan uh, near the Anvil Dot Gate, and um, he told us information about this female gang, and um, from there we actually went to the tavern to get, well, from there he told us to go to the tavern, wherein we found the bandits, these uh, female gang of robbers, and uh, they invited us to their hideout at Guidon Farm. And so from there, we are, well, we are picking up now inside the flowing bowl right before I'm about to go to Guidon Farm. And um, if I didn't say this earlier, I am really sorry for the inconvenience that that loss of recording made. And on a side note, there is a little ghost of sorts that has been following me around. And it's not here now, but it's like this little cute ghost with a pillow. And, um... I don't know, if any of you knows what that's about, can... Um, I would like to know. And so with that, we're going to head out to... The Guidon Farm. And uh, you will notice a couple things that are extremely different about this uh, video. The first being that the loading screens are extremely different. And the second being that the textures all look extremely different. This is because in the time that I... Um, well, from the first episode to now I installed Carl's texture pack and I also got Darnified Dark UI I think that's what it's called I can't really remember at all and do we have torches do we have torches yes here we go now we do but there's a better button for this I believe yeah all right and yeah, let's head out to the Guidon Farm. And, um... The reason I have Carl's texture pack on, despite all my, um... Despite all the issues I have with F FPS, is because... It would seem that the FPS issues aren't actually caused by my computer itself being slow. It is caused by... Fraps. And I know Fraps is quite notorious for doing this, and, um... Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with that except get a new, uh, software, which I might actually end up doing, um... I was actually looking into DX Story, and here's the little ghost that's been following me around. Yeah. But... Um... I tried to... I tried running Oblivion on medium, high, and very high, and it actually turned out that with Fraps, the frame rate was exactly the same on medium, high, and very high with Carl's Texture Pack, and without Carl's Texture Pack. 
And so I decided, you know, since that is the case, why not just have Carl's texture pack on? Because it does make Oblivion look significantly more beautiful. Kind of looks like a um, Skyrimized Oblivion, in my opinion, which uh, I really, I really do enjoy because I do love the realism of Skyrim, but at the same time, I actually do kind of love the fantasy art style of Oblivion as well, despite many people's misgivings about it. And here we are at Greedon Farm. I've arrived at Greedon. I'll need to wait until around 11 in the evening to go inside and find out what Faustina and Signy have in store for me. I've arrived at Greedon. I should enter the main farmhouse and find out what Faustina and Signy have in store for me. Well, let's get started then. I see you took us up on our offer. Good. I'm glad to see you. Signy will be along shortly. I'm sure we can find something to do while we wait. Now we can't have you standing there all uncomfortable in all those clothes. Why don't you take everything off and place it there on the table? I'm afraid not. What? What are you talking about? Don't you want to have fun? Come on, don't be shy. Or are you here for something else? Damn, I knew it. You're working for the city guard, aren't you? I didn't think they would be stupid enough to send someone alone. But so be it. I should have known after I fenced that stupid ring and discovered it was a fake. Worthless. All part of the guard's plan, I suppose. Okay, girls. We got someone who doesn't want to cooperate. Oh boy. Oh, it's a quick save. Um. I'm also breathing. Um, I'm also gasping rather, and um, I actually have no idea why. It's kind of, it's kind of annoying in my, um, in my opinion. You guys could also tell me why that's happening, because I don't recall ever hearing this with all the mods I've installed. And um, after entering the farmhouse, I encountered Faustina, who tried to entice me to remove my weapons, armor, and clothing and place them aside. Knowing this was a ruse, I refused. She yelled out, and the rest of the gang entered the room, fully armed and ready for battle. I had no choice but to kill them. We had a feeling you'd be surprised when you saw us in our real uniforms. I see you have a puzzled look on your face. Ask away. Gogan and I are really members of the Anvil City Watch. I suppose you could say we work undercover. We've been trying to foil Faustina's gang for months now. Every time we tried to interview a man who was lured there, they refused to talk. The women in the gang picked married men to seduce for just that reason. It was decided the only way to stop this gang was to send in a stranger. You fit the bill perfectly. It's a shame it had to end in so much violence. But someone was bound to get hurt sooner or later. We'll clean up the mess. Don't concern yourself about it. I'm sure you had no choice. If you ever find yourself back in Anvil, stop by any time and say hello. Oh, and please say nothing to anyone about our true identities. You've done well, and here's the reward that I promised. Yay, 100 gold for a grand total of 160 gold. Considering how much everything costs in this game, I'm probably going to spend every single penny of it in one place. And I recall she had an interesting dagger on, if I could find it. And yeah, this little this little guy's been following me around for I don't even know how long now. And where'd your dagger go? And I'm I'm really sorry for the lip smacking and the um and the ums 
Um, but I'm trying to... I'm trying to lay down on it, or lay off on it, because I'm aware that it can get quite annoying, and going into the editing stage for the first edit video, it actually did even annoy me. So, yeah, I'm really trying to consciously stop doing that. Sorry, can't talk right now. And let's take all of this wine, cause wine is awesome. And we might actually need to drink it at some point if we run out of water. Do we have a canteen here? I've forgotten. Alright, so we do, but if we ever do run out of water. And more food. And they seem to have eating utensils here. Do we have any of those yet? No, we do not, and we don't even have, like, a cup, so we're also going to take one of these mugs. Unless they have a tankard around here somewhere, because I would like a tankard very much. And I am slightly hungry, slightly thirsty, and slightly exhausted, so... Actually, let us... Hotkey this. Oh, maybe we did, and I just didn't notice. Yeah, okay, um... We'll hotkey this as 8 and 7, because on every single other playthrough I have done, it's been 8 and 7, and so it's really frustrating when I accidentally, well, when I try to change it up, and so I'll press like, well, when I change the hotkeys up, basically, it's extremely hard to keep up with where everything is. I'm actually surprised I got that. I thought I was going to break that pick. Do we have enough room for this? Maybe. Yeah. And we don't need any of these clothes because sooner or later we're going to be buying some very, very fancy clothes. And we will no longer have need of those silly little other things of clothing. And we might read that later, so let's just take this. Lockpick, always nice. Oh my god, you scared me. <laughs> um, ah, dang it, I said it again. I'm really sorry. And I think I lip smacked there as well. I'm just breaking so many, so many laws right now. And, um, oh my god, there we go again. Uh, it is 1.33 a.m., so we will just end up sleeping in one of these beds. I don't, I don't mind doing that, really. We have our little ghost friend here to keep watch, after all. Alright, well, let's continue on with our, um, with our adventure. Where were we? pilgrimage. Well, uh, after a good, night re good night's rest, Got a lot to do here. what are we going to do? Later in Anvil. Right, okay, so after a good night's rest, we're going to head back to Anvil to sell some of this stuff, and then w after that, we are going to... What are we going to do? We're going to start on our pilgrimage to the Way Shrines of the Nine Divines. <laughs>